So in this video, I want to show you how to create a Facebook app and then connect your app to Postradamus. So a Facebook app, first of all, is something that allows you to use a third party tool such as Postradamus. It's like a middleman in between the tool and Facebook and it allows the two to uh, exchange information between each other and uh, in Postradamus's case it allows it to post to your fan pages. So the first thing you need to do is go to https colon slash slash developers.facebook.com and I'll link that here in the video and once you get to that page, uh, if you've never created a Facebook app before, it might look a little different. I've already created some apps, so for me, I just need to go to My Apps and add a new app. And again, if you haven't created an app before, you might have to register, possibly, which is should be pretty basic, just entering your email address or something along those lines. Um, once you've done that, again, you're going to go to My Apps and you're going to say Add New App. And we're going to choose Website. And then choose an existing app or type the name of your new app. So we're going to type in the name of our new app, which um, you only need one app for your fan pages. It doesn't matter how many fan pages you have. So you want to give it some sort of general name. You could say my hosting app or you could say um, posting app for Postradamus. Whatever you whatever makes sense to you. So I'll say posting app for Postradamus and then I'll say create new Facebook app ID. Is this a test version of another app? No, it's not. And I, I just need to choose a category here. So I'll say it's an app for a page, which makes sense. And create app ID. OK, so we're going to actually skip this quick start area. And we can do that just by clicking this button right here. Now this is sort of the dashboard for the app at Facebook and it's got a lot of important information we're going to need in order to connect this app to Postradamus. So uh, the first thing we need to do is click on settings and under this app domains box we need to add 1s0s.com and we'll also need to add a contact email and you can see it has the name that I chose for my app already in here for me but now I need to choose a namespace which is sort of like a ID number. In my case, I'm just going to do posting app for Postradamus. So it's the same as my display name for my app, but it's all lowercase and it has no spaces. It's all one word. So now I should be able to hit save changes. And it's got an error here. Okay, so it's saying this is too long, so I'll just change it to posting Postradamus. And then I'll say save changes again. And it is now saved. The next thing we need to do is go to the status and review tab. And we need to turn the app on. Right now it is it says uh, it's at, on a no status, which means 
it's not available to the public but we need to make it available so we'll click that and then we'll click confirm and we're all set now so our app is created now and I believe all the settings are correct so the last thing we need to do is uh, go to the settings page here and we need to copy this app ID and we need to paste that into Postradamus. So back at Postradamus we go to settings, connections, Facebook, and we scroll to the bottom here and we paste in that app ID right there and then we go back to Facebook and we need to get the app secret now. So to do that, we have to click show. And we have to type in our password for Facebook. And then we copy the secret and paste it back into Postradamus and click update. That should be everything we need to do. Uh, what should happen now is if I go to search for content on Facebook, it should prompt me to accept the Facebook privileges. So it says posting app for Postradamus will receive the following info, your public profile and groups. And then I just need to say, I just need to click OK. And then it says it would like to manage your pages as well. So I need to say OK again. And this should take me back to Postradamus now. And it does. So now uh, my Facebook app is connected to Postradamus and that should be all I need to do. Now if you have multiple users in Postradamus, such as a virtual assistant that you want to have access to your fan pages and your um, Facebook uh, app, there is one more step we need to take and that is back at Facebook we need to go down to roles here and we need to add that person as either an administrator or a developer of our app so I would just click add administrator type in the name of that person and then submit it. Yeah, they need to accept that request and then they are an admin of your app. And then in addition to that, you need to make them an admin of your fan page or any of the fan pages you want them to be able to post to.